guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 7! We are one week into this already, super exciting. Okay, so now we are starting the vlog way later than usual. It's 8 p.m. now, but Jessica Sullivan are here. Uh, we are going to go do a bit of grocery shopping. We're going to pop by Michael's birthday party and then we are going to go have dinner and then we're going to go on beam. We're going to go play beam. We're going to play beam rides, you know. I love beam rides. Okay, so I need to dress up. I need to wear something that is comfortable. Basically everything for like groceries, for the party, for beam. <laughs> Let's go my friends. What should we wear? Should we wear the... I wanted to wear the biker shorts but it will be a bit informal for the birthday party. I've got this cute little skirt thingy. So I thought maybe we can pair this with a sweater. Is it cold? But I will sweat right when I play beam. Let me look for a top. Yeah, I've got this blouse. Um, it's not very thick. Let's let's put it on. I don't know if it will work. Let me put it on. Outfit basically. What do you think? Oh, I think okay coat. I why do I feel it's a bit tight here? Oh. 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 I'm just layering perfume using my Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla. Layering with my Prada. This is also from DM Fragrance, guys. Uh, my face, I'm leaving it just like this because I always go out like this. Okay. I like the whole heaven thingy that we've been doing. Oh, I'm just going to add some treasure. This is called plain beaming style, you guys. Okay. Just nice. Okay, guys. I
home. So I bathe and wash my face. Let's do a bit of skincare. I'm gonna record some Instagram stories as well. So we'll do that like side by side. How is everybody doing? Guys, we never go beam la because I was just way too tired um, after eating, just like tired already. Okay, so what I want to do first, we're gonna give the Paula's Choice one a try. It's been highly, highly raved about. Um, I am scared to try it because retinol is very tough on your skin, but it's tough for good reasons. So, and avoid your eye area, super important. So retinol basically is a very strong thing for your skin, but it gets rid of a lot of unwanted stuff. You cannot mix it with salicylic acid. It's going in with my trusty vintage wellness line. If you have not tried this, I don't know why you not to try this. This is an all organic line, guys. And this is what has actually improved my skin so much. Like visible differences can be seen with this. Next up, taking my trusty Vintage Wellness uh, Moisturizer and Eye Cream. Literally the best, guys. If you have not tried it, I don't know why you have not tried it. This is an all-natural uh, skincare, which is very uh, gentle on your skin, but it also does the work. It's got potato extract that calms the skin. Uh, the potato extract actually fades scars, hyperpigmentation. My skin is a lot more even toned after using this. And I couldn't be happy. This is, it's a very underrated product. Like, um, the formulation, everything is top notch. Like, this is, this is some good quality skincare. And I'm not kidding you. And you know the eye cream? The only eye cream that has worked for me and my dark circles. So, you need it in your life. <laughs> Putting on the eye cream. Like, this skincare, guys, because it's all natural. Um, it's got potato extract. So the potato extract really nourishes the skin. It really, like when I first got it, actually, I'm honestly telling you, when I first got the Vintage Wellness, I too much of expectations, like, because I do review a lot of skincare. But this is one line that genuinely surprised me. So as I keep using it, I notice how much more baby soft my skin got, how much more even tone my skin got. I'm not, like... Not kidding you in the slightest bit. Not even kidding you. I'm gonna moisturize the lips. It's too much. Too much. I put too much on. I I literally put too much on, but if you notice some sometimes in my videos, my lips are really dry. I'm very surprised because I used to have uh, oily acne prone skin, so it's very I find it very surprising that my skin is transitioning from like oily to becoming dry I think as I age so hydration is is like everything I do feel I want to put another layer of hydration on just a bit okay I have this it's super bougie guys it's super bougie I actually got this in my bureau bag if you don't know I was a uh, judge for the bureau beauties award i posted it sorry now it's too sticky <laughs> i posted it on my instagram and i was one of the judges for uh the whole beauty award and <laughs> this was in the bag this one was in the bag okay we're gonna try this today i just want a little bit more moisturizer it smells like my it cosmetics night cream I don't know. Like even the vintage wellness, not even kidding you, the vintage wellness, the texture of it, you know it's an egg. It's a very good quality product. Oh yes, that's all I need. I just needed just an extra pump of like hydration. That is oh that is so nice. That makes my skin so nice. <laughs> you can see my skin. It's really doing like my skin has been up and down, so um, one thing I learned about skincare is you have to know your skin type. That is something I've never stopped emphasizing. I know I try a lot of skincare. It's because 
uh, it's part of my job number one number two i know what works for my skin so um example i know glycolic acid is a huge no-no like it doesn't work for me i know my skin can take stuff like uh, retinol and exfoliation acids like my, my skin can do well with it so the first thing with skincare is you need to know your skin like really really know research you have to research you know the amount of skincare research i've done like even retinols i i learned over time that you cannot use it with like vitamin c you cannot use it in the daytime because sunlight basically like kills something that makes it redundant so you basically only use retinol at night so there's so many things in skincare and uh, I'm really blessed and grateful to be able to do this as my job because I do get to try a lot of skincare but I'm also here to remember I'm here to just suggest I'm like a catalog okay so I will just teach you whatever I le I've learned and what does what a lot of the times I would say 70% of the time uh, the skincare would do what it's meant to do like whatever it says however when it comes to melanin skin when it comes to brown skin skincare formulation is a bit more different because when we have marks especially as brown skin people um, when we have marks when we have scars our scarring goes deeper that's why it's harder to remove so you got to get like good quality products so i think that's why because vintage wellness this is not sponsored by the way this just from the bottom of my heart i'm just sharing Vintage Wellness is actually formulated, manufactured in India. So my theory behind it is I think Vintage Wellness really works for Indian skin tone because it's formulated with herbal products from India and it's natural. So it's got, you know, all the herb stuff. I think you're like even our parties and Amachi, they, like, they, they don't use skincare like this last time. They use all the herbs. Amazing. I'm going to just put on some perfume because you know. I'm a night perf perfume person. I need to have like a night scent. So. I'm a, I need to smell nice like all the time. It's one of my things like wherever I am, even I'm coming out from the shower. I need to smell nice. Okay, let's jump into bed. Oh, look at my skin. Oh, look at my skin. That, that is what we want guys. We want that glass skin. Um, this is actually the reality of my bed in the night because I always sit here to get edit and get stuff up so we're going to move everything now favorite time of the day that I finally get to relax and just take in my thoughts and prepare so far honestly although it has been tiring uh, Blockmas this year is a lot more easier I find myself being quicker <laughs> editing the videos but I also have to ask and I hope you guys will let me know in the comments down below are you genuinely enjoying the vlogs like just let me know um i need to hear from you as well are the vlogs boring are you enjoying yourself like are you liking what you are seeing please feel free to suggest whatever you want to see um i'm thinking of doing like a q a q a with ivan as well since he is comfortable or around the camera it'd be nice to have him in um and yeah, you guys, I hope you're liking what you're seeing. If you don't like it, it's okay. Just let me know what's that. I know I am already sleepy. I want to just... Um, I need to pray. And then I'm going to watch like one to one episode of New Girl. And then head off to sleep. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching and here. Hope I genuinely hope you're enjoying Vlogmas so far. If you're not enjoying, please let me know. So that I can change it up a bit. And... Um, Thank you for all your support under here. It, what I do wouldn't be possible without each one of you. And um, thank you. I love you guys and I'll see you guys.